In the last video for 6.2.6, I went into a little bit more of like why I do certain things in a certain order for solving equations, and I'm not really going to talk about that as much here. So uh, if you are still having a hard time and you didn't watch that, I would just go back and watch the last part of that video because it might help a little bit. So 627, 128, uh, is, did, did he mess up? And that says, did he mess up? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, he did not mess up. And you can check that because you can take 11 and you can put it into the value of x up here and work that through. And yep, it's 27. 129, if you are still struggling with distributive property, uh, you know, the, the answer to this would you to simplify, blah, sorry, to simplify 3 times 2x would be 6x and 3 times 4, this is the part everyone always forgets. There's three of these two. Uh, is 12 to visualize this look it's three groups one two three groups of two x's and four so what do you actually have you have uh, three two x's so you have six x's and you have three fours which should be 12. so uh, after you simplify both sides you can subtract 12 from both sides 6x equals negative 18 divide both sides by 6 get 1x is equal to negative 18 divided by 6 is negative 3. And then you can take the negative 3 and put it into the, this is just the original equation, this and this are the same things. I just, instead of an x, I put a negative 3. And you can PEMDAS it, negative 6 is negative 6. And we can, we're just going to skip 130 here because, actually, I mean, I guess I'll leave it here for a second because if, you were like me and you thought it was asking for the perimeter, um, then, you know, here you go. Th th there's the answer if you thought it was perimeter, but it's not. It's area. So uh, this says the hens need at least 108 square feet of living space and the space available to them, uh, he, the length of the coop is gonna be three feet longer than the width to create exactly 108 square feet of area. What are the dimensions of the coop? A, she tried to use, an, Laura tried to use an equation map, uh, mat, but got stuck. Um, why do you think she decided not to use the equation mat? Well, if you're thinking of these equation mats here, we're always, we've always just been adding and subtracting using these equation mats. And in this situation, we're trying to solve for area um, and to do area, you actually have to multiply two things together, and we haven't done that yet. I think you do that next year. Um, so moving on to a new strategy. So then B said, choose a different method to solve the problem, uh, such as the 5D process. And even if you solve an equation and don't use the 5D process, you still need to uh, show how you're using variables and write your answer in a sentence. So this is a, actually a perfect example of a uh, time you could use the 5D process, and I used it um, because uh, what I started doing is, you can see I, I drew a little picture over here, I said the length and the width, and I knew that the length was really the width plus three. So I could, instead of wherever I could use length, I can also use this. So I knew that the 108 equaled the length times the width. So 108 also equals w plus 3, because w plus 3 is the same thing as length, times the width. You could also write it as w and then w plus 3 in parentheses, because you know this just means this times this. So I decided, hey, I'm going to solve this as an equation. So I did this, and uh, this is kind of a tricky distribution problem if you haven't seen it before, but you know, w times w would act, it's not 2w, it would be w squared, and w times 3 would be 3w. Well, you get here at this point, and you know, you, you might have tried, if you got this, you might have tried solving it by subtracting 3w's from both sides, but you can't subtract this, you just get rid of this, and then you have w's on the left, and it, it gets a little tricky, and there's other things that you can do to, to solve this, but you I doubt that you know that. So um, I thought, hey, you know what, this might be easier to just plug in. So I made my table where I had the width and the length 
width is w, length is w plus 3. And then, you know, I just knew I needed to do the width times the length or the width times the width plus 3 and get 108. I probably should have put parentheses around this so it would follow order of operations, but I was just trying to show it was this and times this expression. But anyway, then I tried 5, you know, 5 and 8. 5 and 8 is 40. 10 and 13, that's 130. Went down a little bit to 9 for my width and 12, and 9 times 12 is 108. So, boom, there you go. The width of the coop is 9 feet, and the length is 12 feet. Moving on to 131. So 131 says, A, write the word problem that could have accompanied this 5D table. So I'm seeing a triangle. All the sides are different. We want to find the sine lengths. Um, here's a trial. And then it actually has all the expressions and the equation already in here for us. Uh, so I kind of used this to write my word problem. I said, uh, side 2 of a scaling triangle, scaling triangle, remember, means that all the sides are different. Side 2 of a scaling triangle is 2 meters longer than side 1, because side 2 is plus 2. Side 3 of the triangle is 4 meters longer than side 2. So side 2 is x plus 2, and then you add 4. That's what side 3 is. What are the lengths of all the sides? And then B said, what's your preferred method? And I said it's an equation, especially since it's already here. They already gave it to us, so we just have to solve it. And then C says, decide on a method and solve it. So I just copied this down over here. And I simplified x plus x plus x would be 3x. 2 plus 2 plus 4 is 8. Subtract 8 from both sides. So th these cancel out. 3x equals 35 minus 8 is 27. And divide both sides by 3. x is 9. So that means that, remember, x is 9. And x was side 1 over here. So uh, side 1 of the triangle is 9 meters. Side 2 is 11 meters because you're adding 2. And side 3 is 15 meters long because you're adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then 132 is these, this a drone problem. Um, the... Oh, where did that problem go? I thought I solved the rest of these. Guess I didn't. Sorry. Um, I just lost the page. Oh well, you can do those by yourself. These ones are, you're just solving them. This was 132. Sorry, I was talking about 133, I guess. I it didn't, I forgot to scan this, the work I did for these ones, but. 132 is, uh, is about this, about bees, and there are three types of bees that help the queen. Workers, drones, and nurses. In this paragraph it says, in a recent study of a hive, it was found that there was a total of 4,109 bees, not including the queen. So the workers, drones, and nurses together, there was 4,109. It says there were 33 more nurses than drones. The number of workers was 12 more than six times the number of drones. Uh, how many of each type of bee were in the hive? So they're comparing both of them to drones. So first I wrote nurses, the nurses plus the drones plus the workers are going to equal 4,109. They compared the nurser and the workers to drones. So I said the drones is going to be D. I'm going to start with drones. And then it says there are 33 more nurses than drones. So the nurses would be however many there are of drones plus 33. Then the workers is a little bit trickier. It says the number of workers was 12 more than six times the number of drones. So you have to take the number of drones, multiply that by six, and then add 12. That's how many workers there are. So this is my expression for workers. And then this was my, you know, I kind of drew an arrow. Nurses are this, drones are this, workers are this. You add the three of them up, and it should equal 4,109. So Simplify all of this first. So D plus D plus 6D is 8D. And 33 plus 12 is 45. And then you have 8D plus 45 equals 4,109. So subtract 45 from both sides to get rid of the 45. 
he has 8d equals 4064, and then uh, to undo 8 times d, divide both sides by 8. So this divided by 8 is d is 508. And remember, d is drones. So there, that means that there's 508 drones. So the hive studied has 508 drones. Um, 541 nurses. You have to take this and add 33. And then to figure out the workers, you have to take 508, multiply it by 6, and add 12. So that means, and there are 3,060 worker bees. Uh, so there, hopefully that helped you a little bit with the word problems. And um, yeah, that's it.